Thanks for coming today. Our theme today is inner strength. We're gonna be doing some inner thigh work. So let's start by setting our posture, feet under hips, lift up those legs, lift the legs up off the hips, lift the rib cage up off the waist, make lots of room to engage that core, roll the shoulder blades back. Let's come into first position. Inhale up, you can rise up on your toes, exhale down. Inhale up, rise up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up and exhale down. Starting in that first position again for a warm up move, we're going to do some tandu cross in. So point that toe, run it along the floor, bring that heel to the toe. When you come in to the center for that crossover, squeeze those inner thighs together. Starting to warm them up, squeeze out, squeeze out, nice. Four, three, two, one, other side, tendu, squeeze, squeeze. So this time we're moving from me, the right leg, squeeze. Working on staying really tall and lifted through the standing leg, trying to keep the hip nicely aligned instead of popping it out to the side to help your balance. Out and in, out and squeeze for four, three, two, one, and release. Coming to our second position, we're gonna be, have our toes, start with our toes turned out, arms extended, lifting that head up to the sky, really focusing on a nice straight line from that hip up to the top of the head, plie, plie. Nice and warm, plie. Focusing on keeping those knees open, lead with the knees over the toes, Working on that turnout, tall lifted spine. And let's change it up. We're gonna plie, rise, bring the feet in, squat and rise. Plie and squat. So getting just a little bit of different work. You should feel the glutes come in for the squat, feel those quads and inner thighs for the plie. Mm -hmm. Squat and up, plie and up. It also helps you feel the difference in that head and chest placement in the plie. Nice and tall, core engaged. In the squat, you're engaging those glutes and bowing a little bit at the hip. Four, Three, two, last one, bring it down. Our last move, if you have a ball or a towel or a pillow that you can put between your thighs, awesome. If not, that's fine. You can just squeeze your legs together. We're gonna squeeze those legs together. Uh, you can have your arms wherever you'd like for balance on your hands, on your hips, or whatever. We're gonna try to rise up onto those toes. And now tiny, tiny walk to the side, squeezing, squeezing those inner thighs, working on the balance, squeeze, squeeze. If you don't have the ball, that's fine. You've just got your thighs squished together, walking side to side, squeeze, 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 other side. Squeeze, 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 other side for, just do one more to each side. Squeeze, squeeze, and walk. Last direction, squeeze, 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 walk, set it down. Hopefully you feel your inner thighs warmed up. Let's get our weights to come to our arm series. 
We're gonna start with our triceps. The weights in your hands. Nice tall posture here, lifted. Roll the shoulders back, hinge from the hip. We're gonna start with a rotating tricep press back. So start with palms facing together. As you lift to the back, uh, rotate your hands to face up to the sky. Big squeeze. You get a little break when we're coming down into this tricep curl position. So you can really give it a big squeeze at the top, a big lift, trying to get those weights up above the glutes. Holding on to that core. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. For four, three, two, one. Stay up here, pulse, pulse. Squeezing those shoulder blades together to open up the chest. You don't want your chest hunched over, your shoulders hunched over. You want to be really open, getting that weight up into the upper arms. Squeeze, pulse, pulse, pulse for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In and out. In and out. Coming back to this full range. Tricep push back. Four, three, two. We're going to leave our hands facing together. Now pulse in. In, 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 keeping those hands lifted. In, 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 neutral head in line with the spine, not dropping that forehead or craning the neck. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to standing. Coming into a standing chest fly, feet parallel, hip distance apart, lifting all the way up, engaging, roll those shoulders back. Bring those arms up. Our arms are gonna stay parallel to the floor, weights facing each other, soft elbows, open and close. So in this open and close, we've really got core engagement. If we let go of our belly, we kind of like swing back and forth. That's not what we want. We want this core engagement of holding on to that belly. All of the work is happening in these shoulders. We're not getting any momentum from the body moving front to back. Open and close, nice job. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Open and front. For four, three, two, one. Keep it open. Open. See if you can get almost a little bit behind your shoulders in this pulse. Open, open, open. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Coming into a 90 degree raise. So we're gonna have one arm lifting to the front, other arm lifting to the side, bring it down, other side, raise it up, lift. So you should kind of feel your shoulders lock into place for each rep. There is no movement of the torso. You're not swiveling that rib cage side to side. You're locking your shoulder blades in, lifting front, lifting side. Lift, lift for eight, seven shoulders away from the ears, six. Shoulder blades down the back. Five, four, three, two, 
one, take a minute, shake it out. We're gonna come into holding those arms up and just switching side to side. Really strong core engagement, no swiveling of that rib cage. Nice, really good. You guys are totally locked into place. I love it. Nice luck. Beautiful form for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Nice. Okay. We are going to come into some bicep work. Again, set your posture. Bring those shoulders down. We're going to keep our weights connected. Palms facing down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Elbows stay at the side. Keeping those weights connected. Lifting up through the rib cage. Nice. Big network in the biceps for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip those hands. Let's come into first position, opening up those knees. Flip the hands. Palms facing up, elbows stay at the side. We're gonna connect at the bottom, open wide into a W. Connect, open into that W. So we're getting a little bit of rotation in this bicep curl. Changing up our range of motion. If you're feeling pain in your elbow, just go straight up and down. If not, this is a nice way to kind of build up those little stabilizer muscles along the elbow that protect it. Very important for your knees to have them protected through those stabilizer muscles, but also for your elbows. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them down. Last move here for our arms. We're going to come into a skier position. Feet parallel, hinging at the hips, strong engaged core, no booty out, no booty in, just a nice straight line. Coming into a 90 degree row, roll the shoulder blades down the back, rowing up, bringing those arms up at 90 degrees, pushing the elbows up and behind you. Nice. And down. Lift and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Lots of work for our back here. Nice neutral spine. Down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to stay up here. We're going to pulse, 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 pulse. Pulse, pulse, half range, halfway down, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up. Squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, constant tension, neutral head, four, three, two, one, come back to pulse, 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 for eight, Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Or rise up, weights to the side. Finished our arm series. Coming to the bar, get your chair or whatever you're using. Head over to your wall or your banister. Uh, you'll want to keep that ball, towel, or pillow nearby. It would also really be great to have two paper plates or gliders or washcloths or towels or whatever will slide on your floor surface. So let's start with a chair squat. You can use your ball or other squishy object, or just squeeze your thighs together like you did in the warm up. We're gonna squeeze those thighs together as we push back into our chair, lift up right here, engage the core, feel the spinal alignment, pushing back, rising up, pushing back, rising up. Really try to keep those knees back, behind the toes, Squeezing those inner thighs. So we're working our inner thighs and we're working our glutes. Push and up. Push and up. For four, three, two, one. Stay down here and we pulse. Pulse. Pulse, if you can, lift your arms. Pulse, 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 that will bring your core a lot more into it. Pulse, 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 thighs squeezed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise it up. Second set on our toes. Come up into releve. Walk those feet together, squeeze those thighs, feet as close together as they can get with whatever squishy object you've got. Sitting back, rising up. So staying up on your toes at this lifted eleve, heels way up high, pushing back. See how that feels a little bit different. For me, I get a lot more hamstring work than I do with feet flat on the floor. Push, rise up. Back in the chair, stand it up. Nice, big, heavy work here. Continuing to feel that thigh squeeze. Four, eight, seven, six, ooh, feeling it in my quads now too. Five, heels up high, four, three, not dipping your head when you get to the bottom, so your gaze should stay on the wall in front of you. Two, Let's come down here and pulse, pulse, pulse. If you have the balance, you can try lifting your arms here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, heels down, ball to the side, shake that out. That was intense. Let's get our gliders, if you have them, or whatever you're using for a glider. We're going to be doing some diagonal jumping jacks. So if you don't have gliders, you can just do this as a jumping jack. Uh, that's a little more cardio and a little less um, inner thigh, or you can do a tondu, tondu, diagonal front, diagonal back. Lots of options here, but if you have the gliders, let's do a diagonal uh, jumping jack. So we're going to bend the knee, open the gliders diagonally front and back. Bend the knees, bring them back in. Bend, open, bend, draw back in. So bending those knees to give yourself some power. 
trying to get the diagonal movement here instead of just opening to the front or just opening to the side. You should really feel your inner thighs work if you're on a glider system or even if you're not. Nice. Or eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, nice. Good job. Let's bring it back to heavy intensity. We're gonna hook our arms on our chair. We're not quite there yet. First, let's come into first position. So one toe on the floor, open that knee. Other toe, open that knee. Feel the turnout coming all the way up to the hips. Coming down into a little plie, hooking those arms, or you could catch onto the chair. Head and shoulders lifted, core engaged. Let's start by extending that left foot in front. We're gonna go side to side, just a little side to side movement here. So you've got this plie going in your standing leg, really thinking about that turnout, keeping the knee open, not letting the knee creep forward. Working that inner thigh by hovering that foot across the floor, squeezing it in, out. Nice posture, I love it. Or eight, seven, six, five, that foot is in turnout, four, three, two, one. Check in with your standing knee, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, are you still in plie in the standing knee? Is it still nice and open, not creeping forward? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, bring it in. Shake those legs out. Let's get ready to do the other side. Set yourself back up into your turnout, your first position. Come down into that little plie, gauge the core really strongly, lifting that head and shoulders. We always want to lift that, uh, let that upper body kind of bow forward. In, out, in, out. Nice. In, out, in, out. It doesn't matter the height from the floor. You just want to choose a height that's both challenging and sustainable. So we're working on keeping that lift throughout the movement. Check in with your standing knee. Is it supported? Is it in that slight plie? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, nice, this should really be starting to get to you. It's okay to have a little shake going. Up, down, up, down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, nice. Good job. That is always a lot. Coming back to face our bar, ball, is optional for this. We're gonna be doing some calf raises. If you wanna bring your inner thighs into it, squeeze that ball. If you don't, then you can just have your feet hip distance apart if you really wanna focus more on the calves. If you've got that ball, squeeze those thighs, lift yourself up on the toes. Lift and down, lift and down. Now to me, Irrelevant comes from the inner thighs, even if we don't have the ball. I start by tightening my inner thighs and then lifting up, particularly true in first position. But that way it's, the work is like lifting all the way through your body instead of your feet pushing you through the air. 
So think of your whole body lifting, all those muscles all along being recruited for this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up here and we pulse, 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 pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit it down. Fall to the side. Let's get a little bit of a calf stretch after that. Leaning against your wall or your chair, nice straight body, heels flat to the floor. Getting a good stretch in those calves. Try to lift up your toes if you can uh, and see if that increases the stretch that you're feeling on the back of the leg. All right, the last move, we're gonna come into a passe crossover. So first position, one arm for balance, other arm out in second position. Coming up to a passe that's just touching our toe to our knee, open, cross front, open, cross back. Keeping this knee open in turnout, really squeezing those thighs as you come to the crossover, just like we did in our warm up in that tendu, using that to get your last little bit of movement instead of relying on the quad or the hip flexor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift that knee, open, open, holding onto the core, no swiveling of the core, just opening that hip, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to first. Woo, switch to the other side. Getting set in your passe. Coming to your first position. Bring that toe up. Open the leg. Cross, front, cross, back. Cross and cross. Keeping that knee open. Standing leg. In turn out, feel it going all the way up to the hip. Nice, lifted through the torso. Big squeeze and cross. Four, three, two, one, open that leg, open, or closed, open, closed, open. Working on that turnout, leading with the knee, strong core, tall spine. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Back to first. <sighs> Let it go. Putting that chair to the side and grabbing your mat. We're going to come down to the floor for our core series. We are going to start with a modified bear crawl. Since we don't have an across the floor here, at least I don't, maybe you have one. Um, 
do. We're gonna start, um, if you are in a knee plank, you're gonna step one foot, step the hand, hand back, knee back, step the foot, step the hand. If you're on your toes, same thing, lifting up onto those toes, bring that foot in and then bring this hand in. Step the hand back, look back. So you're changing up your balance while keeping that core engaged, not rotating side to side with that rib cage. See if you can bring your body forward with that hand. See what that does to your core engagement and your balance. Reach, 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 reach. Four, three, two, one. Sit back. For a second set, you can do the same thing, or you can up the difficulty just a little notch by doing opposite hand, opposite leg. So step the right foot, left arm reach, really working to maintain this position. Left arm back. Opposite arm reach. A little harder to keep your balance when you've got this opposite arm reach going. A little more work on the core to keep that back parallel to the ceiling. Four, three, Two, last one, and done. Sit back, roll those wrists, coming to our back. We're going to do some inner thigh butterfly beats with legs extended. Take those thumbs, you can bring them under your glutes for a little bit of angle support here. Open the shoulder blades, lift head and shoulders up off the mat, bring those legs up, have them in first position, turn out in those legs, cross, cross, cross. So lots of core, a little bit of inner thigh. Keep that turn out. If you're having a hard time here, you can raise the legs up a little bit and bring the head and shoulders down. Or if you want maximum difficulty, Head and shoulders up, legs just hovering above the mat. Feet, 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 or eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little rest. Second set, we are going to lift those legs up and down. Head and shoulders will stay down on the mat. So engage that core, press that lower belly down to lift those legs, butterfly up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up. Really slow, really deliberate. Don't pop them all the way up and down. And up. And down. Last set. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those knees. Nice job. That is a good, good one for that lower belly. Let's do some inner thigh lifts. We are going to take this 
top foot on the, uh, up and over on the mat, bottom foot flex, lift, 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 lift. Hips are stacked. Lift, lift, lift for four, three, two, one. Point the toes, circle front, circle, circle, circle. Keeping these hips lifted, keeping the core engaged. You don't want your hips rocking front to back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle back. Back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs extended. Top head down for balance, keeping these hips stacked. Lift both legs up and down, up and down. Squeeze with your oblique on the up. You should be using your core to lift. Your inner thighs are working a little bit too by using your core to lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Starting with that inner thigh lift. Top foot in front, bottom foot flex. Lift, 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 lift. Hips straight up and down. You may need to roll this top hip a little bit to the front. It naturally wants to open to the back. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, point the toes, circle front. Circle, circle, circle. Little circle hovered. Circle, circle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, switch direction. Circle back, 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 back. Or eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Extend the legs. Reset that straight up and down with the hips. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze those thighs. Lift, lift. Feel the work happening in this core. This muscle is shortening as it contracts, and that is what lifts the legs. Lift, lift. Lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll onto your back, feet flat on the mat, arms crossed over the chest, her fingertips lightly touching the ears. We're gonna lift one foot and crunch. So we're not doing a side crunch. We're not doing a bicycle variation. We're crunching straight up, lifting one leg and then the other. Just feeling this tiny little distance in between. Feel your upper abs and your lower abs. Working on this. Nice. Eight, seven, pushing that belly button down every time you lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees together, staying up here. We're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. Upper body, lower body, pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the arms, extend the legs. Time for some stretch. 
So you know, this pencil stretch, you can reach one arm and then the other. And a good stretch on the front of the body. Sitting up, let's tuck one foot inside the other thigh. Other leg straight in front of us, trying to keep this knee nice and open to stretch that inner thigh. Reach that arm up and extend over, 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 reaching, reaching, reaching until your hands reach a spot where they rest. It can be on your calf, ankles, foot, or toes. Thinking about that bent knee opening down toward the mat. On your exhales, trying to let go. Both six bones equally situated on the floor. Roll back up, take this foot. We're gonna open it the other way. So legs open, foot toward the back, palms behind you, lift up, open that chest, and then just drop as far as is comfortable for you. Some people can come all the way back. Some people can come onto elbows. Whatever is comfortable for you. For me, it's like one elbow. But feel a good stretch on this inner thigh. If it's putting pressure on your knee, just open that leg a little more. That will take away your inner thigh stretch. But we don't want to hurt the knee. Bring yourself back up. Let's do the other leg. Tuck that foot, the inner thigh, keeping this knee open. Front foot flex straight in front of you. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward over that foot. Holding on wherever it's comfortable. Feeling your inhales and your exhales. back up, take that bent knee, open it the other direction, lift up through the chest, big inhale, exhale, bring yourself down as far as it's comfortable, trying to get your nice inner thigh stretch, this leg. Bring yourself back to center, coming on to your hands and knees. Tuck those toes under, forward fold, walk the hands back to the toes. We go on the mat. Slowly roll up at last. Roll those shoulders back. Step out into your super wide second position. Feel those knees leading, inner thighs super open. Inhale up, exhale into your plie. Inhale up, exhale plie. One more time. Gentlemen, take your bow. Ladies, take your curtsy. Thanks for coming to bar today. Have a great afternoon.